it's a beautiful day. We have to decide what we're gonna do today, where we're gonna go. And we haven't a clue where we're going. The sun's out and it's beautiful. So, adventure awaits. Stay tuned. We are in uh, St. Ignace, Michigan, which is just across the Mackinac Bridge from the Lower Peninsula. So we are in the UP. We love this town. Oh, I do. I, I look forward to coming here every summer. You, you I see, think it's there's, absolutely there's the beautiful. Coming into view, uh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Lots of good memories coming up here. See, we're going to go have breakfast at one of our favorite little places. This kind of like a little railroad car diner here, but. Um, we have to decide what we're going to do today, where we're going to go. We know we're going west on US 2 through the UP. Um, I don't know. Where, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Well, we've got a friend who has a new home. Up on Lake Superior. Up yeah, here. and I wonder if they're up there, that up here this weekend. Maybe we could give them a call and stop by and see their house. And uh, I do love Grand Marais, and that's right by Pictured Rocks, which are a must see if you come to Michigan and the Upper Peninsula. Uh, we haven't a clue where we're going. Uh, isn't this a nice little town? <laughs> say, that's kind of our life, isn't it? We yeah. have a clue where we're going. Uh, that's Just half joking. the fun of it. We love this little town. It's. Uh, School gets out up here in another week or so, so the, the place isn't very crowded. A lot of people use St. Ignace to go over to Mackinac Island, but uh, we really like it. So we're going to go get breakfast and kind of think through where we want to go after this. But uh, we can't give you any information because we don't know yet. So the crowds are not here, so it's delightful. It's not bumper to bumper like it will be later in the season. And the weather is cooperating. It's cool, but the sun's out and it's beautiful. So we, uh, we had breakfast in our little place, Java Joe's, and uh, lo and behold, uh, the owner had a road trek. I do, I do, and I love my road trek. I absolutely love it. No, it's, it's a, uh, uh, they're just a fun vehicle. Not only that, but we were talking to the owner about his road trek. He bought a used one a year ago and how much he loves it. The couple behind us also owned a road trek and they love theirs. And they gotta understand, this is a tiny little restaurant in a tiny little town in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And uh, I don't know how many tables were occupied, a half dozen tables occupied. So two of the tables and the owner all had uh, Class B RVs. It's a small world. <laughs> All right, we're now on US-2 headed west, and uh, we still aren't quite sure where we're going, except that way. So US-2 has um, all sorts of scenic pull-offs. It, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of the Pacific Coast Highway in California. And I know it's the Pacific Ocean that is out there. But uh, Lake Michigan, um, which is the... Uh, sixth largest lake. Sixth largest lake. I mean, look at that. That is Lake Michigan. And it is beautiful. like to do what we're doing today is called day camping we're stopping every couple of miles pulling off just enjoying the beauty I mean it is a perfect day in Michigan and it is gorgeous this whole stretch of Lake Michigan shoreline along US 2 is open like this to the public there's no development there's lots of access points it's just water and sand and beautiful trees We 
been about six or eight hours just uh, heading west on US 2 and we've come off about 40 miles. That's because we've been stopping every couple miles. We've changed our plans and we're now off US 2 for a little bit. We're going to go north from Lake Michigan to Lake Superior. We decided to go north to Grand Marais to see a friend who her daughter bought a home on Lake uh, Superior and I'm anxious to see it. I think it's, we love that area and anxious to go see their home. That's one of the neat things about traveling serendipity. You can just make a change in your plans and uh, go visit friends for a couple of hours because your home is, is with you. Is with you. And we have so many places that we can choose to stay for this night over on the Lake Superior side. And then eventually we'll make our way back to US 2 and continue our trek west. But uh, uh, this is great. Right now we're in a little tiny town. I think this is called Engadine. Whatever it is, that little bit of slowness that we're in, we were out of there. Is that what we were? I can't say how much fun this is, not being in a hurry Engadine, yeah, and not rushing, not having to get to some place, because normally we're on a tight schedule. This is just the biggest luxury. Here we go. And then if you go a little west from Grand Marais, you have... The Pictured Rocks, yeah. Maybe we'll stop there too. We stopped and visited our friends in Grand Marais, and then we headed west towards Lake Superior and the Pictured Rocks National Seashore. Have you ever wondered about these sticks in the Upper Peninsula alongside the highway? In the summer, it's hard to imagine, but in the winter, they mark the roads when the snow gets really deep. So we're on the Lake Superior shoreline. Actually, we're part of the Pictured Rocks National Seashore on Lake Superior, but this is the, maybe a quarter mile to the south of Lake Superior, and this is Sable Lake. Sable Lake is this beautiful, crystal clear inland lake. Filled with trout. You can see the trout swimming. Peaceful, quiet areas to picnic. You hear the wind in the trees, the pine trees, and it is beautiful. So here's something really cool. This is the Hurricane River, and that is Lake Superior. But I want you to check this. Right down at the edge here are trout trying to spawn up the river. Can you see these guys right here? Look at these trout.
very full day. We're uh, camped near Munising, Michigan. At, they call it a little tourist camp, but it's right on Lake Superior. So we're going to get a good night's sleep. And without reservations, should I tell them that we are in the overflow area, which is just fine. Yeah. Because we don't need a fire pit or a picnic table, but we have water and electric and uh, we haven't, $30 I mean, a night. For but, the overflow area, they only take eight. But we didn't even, we're not even plugging in, and I don't think we're going to hook up with water. We got we plenty of water, to. and we don't, we, you know, we got all that solar. We don't even need to plug in. All right. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you down the road as we continue traveling west. Hey, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll be notified every time we have new videos up. Thanks for watching.